Tomorrow will be an amendment that could give local governments the ability to waive property taxes for victims of natural disasters. And this could really impact our neighbors in Noonan yeah. as they continue to rebuild after a tornado hit nearly two years ago. Tracy Amick Pier joins us from Noonan and tells us how this amendment would work. More than a year and a half after a tornado tore through Noonan, houses are still being rebuilt and homeowners are still dealing with the damage. But an item on the ballot tomorrow could help victims like these moving forward. The night of the tornado, we were actually here. You can see where the footprint of the house used to be. Dean Jackson and his family were at home March 25th, 2021. We could tell that night it was just gone. When an EF4 tornado hit, destroying their house. We had to take the house down, you know, in thoughts of rebuilding on this lot, for example. And a lot of people in this neighborhood did. Making their and other situations worse. Eight months later, they were hit with a property tax bill. And you turn around, what am I paying taxes on? I don't have a house. State Representative Lynn Smith says to avoid this very scenario moving forward, she's sponsoring Amendment 2 on the ballot tomorrow to provide local governments with an option to provide a one-time property tax break for victims of natural disasters. Wherever we live in our state, we have tornadoes, we have hurricanes. Jackson says had this been in place after the Noonan tornado, it would have really helped his family. It would have put it, just that year that we were uh, hit by all of this in 21, it would have put probably several thousand dollars back into our bank account. Now, as far as opposition goes, Smith says there is none. She says there's been bipartisan support on this amendment all along. And she says their main challenge is educating the public on what this amendment means. In Noonan, Tracy A. McPeer, 11 Alive News.